What? What? You thought you caught me here doing nothing. Um, I'm doing a video. Um, on banana peels? Banana peel water? Ah. ah, banana peel water and orchids. Are they good for your plants? How do you make it? So let's get down to it and we'll tell you the hows, whys and what to do's. And welcome to The Nature Company. If you're interested in videos like this, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of any of our upcoming videos. And we'll give you all the details on how to keep your plants growing beautifully. So now let's get on with the show and tell you how this banana water is going to affect your orchids. And if you've had any previous experience with this banana water or want to ask any questions, just pop it down in the questions below. We'll be sure to get back to you. So there's multiple ways to do this feeding with banana peels. One of the ways to do them is putting them out in the sun to dry. In a nice baking tray where they're going to crisp up, they'll go black and crispy. This will probably take a couple of days, up to a week. And then you take these dried bananas, crush them in a pestle and mortar or even just in a blender into a nice fine powder. If you don't have time for this or you don't have the hot enough sun, then of course there's the alternative method. Take your banana peels, pop them in the oven and basically roast them until they black and crispy. Another popular method is the fermenting. This you're just chopping your banana peel up into about one inch size squares, filling up your jar, filling it with water, and then you put this away in a cool place for a week, even up to two or three weeks, and you land up with a nice stinky liquid that you can then use to feed your orchids with. This is gonna be a highly concentrated mix, so this you're gonna to have to dilute quite far. But we'll get into all of that a bit later. <clears throat> now I'll show you one of the methods that I prefer to use. We're going to be taking our banana peels and again just chop, chopping them roughly just makes them easier to deal with really and popping them into a pan so here i've used two banana peels and with that, I'm going to add one liter of water. Now what we're going to do with this, we're just going to let it build up its temperature. We're going to take it up to about 65 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we'll let it simmer away at that temperature for about five minutes. Then we'll take it off. We'll just mush the banana peels a bit, put it back onto the heat again, take it back up to the 65, another five minutes, take it off, mush the banana peels again, put it back on the heat again, up to 65 degrees, and let it simmer there again for another five minutes. So in a total, we're gonna be covered on the heat for approximately 15 minutes with about a five minute break in between each heating. So this is gonna bring up just enough heat to make sure that all those elements that are in the banana peels get taken out by the water. Also the action of the water and the temperature is going to help change the chemical composition of the elements in your banana peels so they become available to the to your plant. For instance the calcium carbonate which is in your banana peels will change to the calcium oxide which is freely available to the plant. It's going to make the absorption of the minerals from the banana peel available to your plant so your plant will be able to use them directly. So by doing this method, it helps reduce some of the fermentation byproducts that are produced with this fermented one, like the ethylene gas. Ethylene gas can be productive in elongating your plant and also help force flowering. But if you're putting in too much, it can be detrimental to your orchid itself and cause abortion of the flower buds. So you'll have to be careful when using this, the fermented product. But here you're going to have a lot less of it. Um, 
but the yeasts in it do produce ethanol. So the ethanol that is produced by the yeast on the banana peels isn't going to be killed by this sort of temperatures, but they do produce an effect of larva and insecticidal properties to the plant. Obviously, it's not going to produce the same sort of effects as what a chemical spray will do, but it does help when, you, when you're going completely organic. Any little extra boost to your plant is going to be a bonus. Also, the smell with the fermented product is going to be a bit off-putting, but you can help reduce the, the smell and the excess fungi and bacteria that is now growing in here that is causing the fermentation process um, can sometimes be detrimental to your plant. So if you do want to get rid of those, you can tip this out then into a pan and bring it to the boil for approximately 5-10 minutes and that, that will kill all the fungi and bacteria that are in here. It will also help reduce the odor somewhat. So it's an easy way of helping prevent your plant being infected by stuff that might still be in here. You can see just a mild bit of steam coming off, so we're nearly at the right temperature. And then we'll turn down the heat and just let it simmer away at that temperature for a while. You can start seeing the discoloration in the water, which means all those good nutrients are being leached out of the banana peels. Okay, so now we just leave that one side to cool and then we'll strain it out and show you how we can use it and how to dilute it further. So now that our banana peel water has cooled down, we're going to strain it out into a jar. There we go. This we're going to store in an airtight jar and if need be in a fridge. The mixing ratio of this, although the use of it and when to use it is more important actually, but the mixing ratio we're going to use one part banana peel water to nine parts of water. So 100 mils of banana water into 900 mils of water to give us a full liter. Okay. Now let's go on to how to use it and when to use it. These are the most important parts of using banana water. And then we can then decant this into our spray bottle. So with Phalaenopsis, we're going to be spraying in around the root zones and the roots themselves and a light spray across the plant. Then we're going to make sure that this can dry off quite quickly. And if need be, we'll get buds in just to dry off inside the crown and around the edges of the leaves. And with our vandals and their flower spikes, just giving the, we're going to give the whole plant a good spray, including down through the roots. To ensure all those roots are nicely soaked and they can absorb all that good nutrient. can notice as the roots change color they're absorbing that water straight into them and that's exactly what we want okay and so then you see my orchids are in flower already and you're saying why are you spraying them now so with all the potassium the phosphorus the sulfur the calcium and iron and even trace copper amounts in your banana water. All of these work together with the ethanol that the yeast then starts to produce to help force the flowering. So it helps the plant push all those nutrients to the flowering buds, forcing more flowers, larger flowers, a better flowering display. And this is what we really want from our orchids. This is the reason that we collect so many of them. So always only use this banana water when it is time for flowering. And you want to just give the plant the boost with that extra potassium and phosphorus to bring those flowers out beautifully. We don't want to use this when your orchids in stress 
because we don't want to then start forcing flower bud and elongation of the upper growth when your plant's in stress and it doesn't have enough roots to support it. So only use this in flowering season. And it's just a supplement to your plant. It's not your complete and only feed. We're just using this as the booster for the flowering and then we'll still carry on with our, our normal feeds in conjunction with this. If you found any of the information we've supplied in this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe, the notification bell, bing bong, to be notified of any of our upcoming videos. And thank you for watching. Help us grow as we help your orchids grow.